Hello, this is Andy Ford Video, and today we're going to look at the Venetian blinds effect. This is, of course, found under effect transition Venetian blinds. This effect reveals an underlying layer using strips that you can control the direction and width of. A quick look here and you can see that you can control the transition completion percentage. You can also control the angle as well as the width and of course there's a feathering control. First I'll play this quick example for you. And so that's a way to add interest to a background element. We have a simple shape layer and all we've done is keyframe the transition completion and the direction. So going through this slowly, you can see that we're just altering the transition completion to control the thickness. Now we're going to move the thickness and the direction. Here we're going to thin out the lines, change direction again to be horizontal, and bring our transition completion back down to zero, revealing the background again. Here's a second example where we have two Venetian blind transitions on the same layer. One is set to 45 degrees and one to negative 45 degrees. And if you have the same width, you end up with this diamond pattern. As you can see when I play this, now I've converted it to square tiles, almost like a mosaic. And that's simply having them offset one vertical blinds at 90 and one at zero. Now here we again have two Venetian blind transitions. We're starting off again with the 45 and negative 45. But one thing you'll notice is we're growing the transition of one to extend the line. Now we extend the second transition the other way to thicken the line. Here I show you what the feathering effect does. Of course, we change our direction. We bring the feathering back down to zero. Take one of our blind transitions all the way down to zero to effectively eliminate it. And now bring the other one to 100, which basically closes our blinds, revealing the background layer. Of course, in this case, there is none. Don't forget this effect works well on text. Here we have a text layer and below it is our solid with our Venetian blinds. We have set the text layer to screen and we have a mask that goes across to reveal the Venetian blinds effect on the letters and then perform our animation. Again, very simple, moving a mask to reveal, simply altering direction, altering the transition complete, and you can add a cool effect to your text. In this last example, we have our blinds layer screened we again have a solid with two Venetian blinds effects. We are starting with the 45 and negative 45 again, but just showing you how I treated this a little differently than the previous example. So again, Venetian blinds is one of those transition effects that you may overlook. Play around with it. It only has a few parameters. It's easy to use and be creative with. Thank you.